So I'm going to make this video real quick. Um, hopefully it helps somebody. That's my motivation here. I had uh, shoulder pain. It was debilitating. I couldn't even sit in a chair without having it affect me. It would it just this dull ache that would radiate. It was just, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sit in a chair. Uh, I could still go to work and do stuff, but this arm a lot of times was uh, useless. Um, there were times that, I mean, that dull ache would radiate constantly, but there were times where like if I would like reach to pick something up and like, I'm talking like a pencil or, or something small, like a hand warmer, just the, 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 the act of moving that arm would trigger it. And what I would get is just a excruciating cramp like pain deep from within this joint. And I also would get sometimes on the back of my shoulder blade at the same exact time, the same pain, but it was coming off the middle of my shoulder blade or the lower part of my shoulder blade. Um, and it would re it would, it would come on instantly. And then it would, after that, it would, it would feel like a cramp. It would like go to a crescendo and it would stay there for anywhere between 30 seconds and two minutes. And then it would gradually go away. Kind of like a cramp. The dull ache would remain. It got to the point, like I said, I couldn't sit in the chair. I couldn't sleep. I damn sure couldn't use that arm. And it was most ridiculous. Like nothing a fork up to eat, for God's sakes, it would drop me to my knees. And it, would, it sometimes I could do it. Other times, I could not. But uh, it disrupted my life immeasurably. Uh, it was to the point I was like, well, I'm going to have to go in and have surgery. This is just unacceptable. But I hate doctors. Um, if I can avoid surgery in any, any way, I will. And if that means taking a year to do stuff, or two years, I'll do it. I, I don't want to go underneath the knife and trust somebody I don't know to do God knows what. I've known guys that have had surgery, and I know it's gone well for some of them, but I've also seen the other side of it where it doesn't go well. Um, I'm not going to get into that. My point is, is if you can dedicate probably three minutes throughout a day, um, a minute here, a minute maybe midday, and maybe a minute in the evening, and, and, and try this, it, pro it may help you. I'm not gonna make any promises. I'm not a doctor. I'm just some schlub who uh, has lived life and, and have some experience with it. Um, so what I did is push-ups. And I'm not talking, I'm gonna build muscle push-ups. I'm talking yoga style, slow, focused, and it hurt at first, yes, it hurt, but it was a, a pain that I could work my way through if I focused on it. I could, I could get through it, and I don't. It would not an excruciating pain. I mean, if you feel an excruciating pain, like something's tearing, stop for God's sakes. Listen to your body. But if you can do it with a little bit of discomfort, go ahead and do it. But what I would do is a real slow push up. I think the first day I did too, too super slow. It's not about building muscle. It's about getting that motion down. Um, after a couple days of that, and what I would do is I would do it. After I had my coffee in the morning, by the, so I'd ha get out of bed, have a chance to warm up, move around, do some stuff, have my coffee. And then before I took a shower, I'd do, I'd do that. Two push-ups. Um, sometime in the afternoon after lunch, I would do the same thing. I would slowly get underground, and I'd, I'd have to work to assume that position. It wasn't like I could just pop down there and do it. Um, and I got down there, and I would slow, and I'm talking real slow, just focusing on the pain coming out of that joint and, and, and what I was doing. And I'd say oh, probably four days into it, I increased to five push-ups. Um, and same thing, slow. We're not talking about building, building muscle here, like trying to knock out, increase the number of push-ups you're doing. We're just talking about getting that motion back. And I wasn't really seeing any any gains. I want to emphasize that it wasn't. I wasn't seeing gains right out of the gate. Um, it, I didn't even know if I was accomplishing anything. After probably a week and a half, I moved up to ten push-ups. Slow as you go. Um, I maybe felt the reduction in pain in, in increased use, of, but I, I can't really say it was significant. Um, Two weeks, I, I moved it up to 15, real slow, super slow. I did that for another three weeks, and I stayed at 15. Can I do more? Hell yeah, I can do more. But this isn't about building my push-up strength. This is about increasing the support structure of the muscles around that joint. 
probably about a month and a half in, I would say right now, I haven't had, I'm on day three of no shooting pain. Like if I can reach and pick something up, it doesn't hurt. I can go about, this is the third day I've gone throughout my day without having excruciating pain that's dropped me to my knees. Um, there's times I can still feel it. Like if, if I do a certain little thing, I, I can feel just a tiny little trace of, hey, I'm still here. So I'm, I'm careful with every movement that I, I do. And if you're dealing with this kind of thing, you're going to do the same thing. You, when you feel it, just listen to your body. Don't push it. I would say right now I'm probably 85% recovered. And I, that's gigantic. Uh, the, the thing that I have is I, I still feel it once in a while, like I said. But the biggest thing is my range of motion ain't bad. This arm I can put straight up. It ain't no thing. This arm... I get to right about here, and, and I can feel on my shoulder blade. I can feel that whatever's going on back there, I can feel it under tension. And it, it's my body's telling me, don't go any further. So I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And when I get to, and I, and I, I don't just stay away from it. I slowly am, am pushing it. And my hope is to get that range of motion back without any pain. Um, if I can get back to where I used to be, That'd be fantastic and my motivation for doing this is, is maybe to try and help somebody um, if you are having problems you probably have three minutes a day to spare where you can do this you don't need any special equipment you don't need any supplements you don't need any I haven't used any of that uh, I just focused on what I was doing and made a decision to do that three times a day nice and slow and, and just to see if it worked and I've had exceptional results uh, hopefully this helps somebody. If it does, let me know in the comments if you've had any success with it. And uh, yeah, good luck. Hey, one other thing I forgot to mention is when I was suffering this pain, and I've, I'm still doing this, um, just sitting in a chair, I couldn't sit there without the weight of my arm hurting my shoulder. So one of the things I did is I supported my arm with a pillow. Like if I, I sit in my chair, I found a pillow that would that my elbow would rest on so that the weight of my arm wasn't hanging off my shoulder. And I did this, thing, I've been doing this for quite a while because just letting my arm hang there, it would, holy crap, it would hurt. So I, throughout all of this, I've been doing that. Supporting my arm and then sleeping at night, I sleep on my side a lot. I cannot sleep on this side. I can now, but I, I, when this was going on for the last year and a half, I could not sleep on this side whatsoever. What I would do is I would take a pillow and I would just bear hug it. So when I was laying on my side, there'd be a pillow this way. So that just, that, and the pillow is not very supportive, but it's enough. There, there's enough rigidity there that it, it gives you a little something here that doesn't disrupt you. So that when you're relaxed, that the weight of that arm pushing down in that joint, the pillow helped a lot. Um, so sleep with the pillow. And if you're sitting in a chair, um, support that joint. Um, I, I don't know if you really have it bad. I mean, I, I actually even thought about putting my arm in a sling. The only reason I didn't, uh, when I was out walking around doing stuff, just to take that weight off of there. The only reason I didn't is I didn't have a sling, and I'm too tight wad, too much of a tight wad to go out and buy one. Um, so that's the other thing I wanted to touch on. Uh, support that arm, that joint, throughout this entire thing, and give, give it a chance to heal. Um, I guess that's it. Good luck.